from the biggest transporter on the planet to the strongest bucket wheel excavator, here are 10 of the most amazing machines on the planet. Number 10, self-driving cars. Self-driving cars are being talked about non-stop. As the years go on and huge tech giants pour more and more money into the development of driverless vehicles, we inch ever closer to a world where our taxis will be driven by smart artificial intelligence and advanced programs. But this is not the future I'm talking about, this is now. These machines are everywhere. Even Uber is scrambling to hurry up and get a driverless taxi service up and running, so there will be no need to deal with humans. Then they can deal with machines. That's a little unsettling, right? No? Just me? The idea of developing these cars started with Waymo and Google, and then Apple joined the adventure. Mixing their technologies, maps, and systems, they started to design and improve all what made the Waymos a reality. A vision of Apple, the maps and the information of Google, and all the technology, the ingenuity of Waymo, and many other contributions of the brands, made this dream a real-life one. So, how do these humanless machines work? Well, they basically have a 360-degree radar view of everything going on around them. They can read street signs and adjust their driving behavior accordingly. They can slam on the brakes if a crash is imminent, and they can change lanes safely because they have no blind spots. And while people may stick their nose up at the idea of a driverless car, saying they will never let a robot drive them around, the same thing happened when the automobile came out. People were afraid and began calling these cars horseless carriages. A machine can't take over your trusty horse, can it? Actually, yeah, it can, and we aren't in 1850 anymore. If you're one of those people who are afraid of mechanized cars that can drive themselves, it looks like you'd better get ready, just in case. They're already here and they will only get more and more popular as we speed into the future. Number nine, the horse walker. This is not what it looks like, or is it? What it looks like is a theme park ride for horses, but what it is in reality is something called the Kurt system, which is a new machine developed by a Turkish industrialist to help train horses. The machine was developed over the past 20 years and has so far cost a cool $50 million, according to ABC News. So how does this machine work? It's a system of cars attached to an overhead monorail in which horses can be walked at various speeds around a circular track. It's a system that allows horses to be trained without overexerting themselves, so that they may be properly trained for racing in a controlled environment. This is critical to maintaining the proper health of the horses, developing their muscles, and getting them used to going on the track. It is very different to the traditional ways people usually train their horses. In some places, they use a round arena, where the horse runs in a circle tied to a rope. Other people train them using the traditional walk machines, commonly used by the humans. But these are modified to work perfectly when a horse is running on them. In this horse's walker, the horses are supervised by professional riders that sit on the central section of the car and see how the horse reacts and goes on depending on the speed and the information the vets give to them. The horses will even have weights gradually added to their saddles to simulate what it will feel like to have a jockey on their back. This is the best way to prevent young horses from getting injuries or developing problems with their tendons, shins, and ligaments. See? Machines helping animals. Cool combo, right? Number 8. FAST. 500 meter aperture spherical telescope. This is a pretty fantastic machine. It may not move, and it certainly doesn't have any wheels, but it is an impressive machine nonetheless. This massive satellite was finished in 2016 as China's extremely expensive attempt to scan the sky and the space beyond for signs of intelligent life, among other miscellaneous uses. The name of the telescope is FAST, and it is located in Guizhou, China. It's almost five kilometers distant from the nearest human interference, and the depression and the mountains around the place help the telescope to receive better radio waves, even the faintest that come from thousands of light years away. The satellite dish itself is 1,650 feet, or 503 meters across, and made up of 4,450 individual panels, being the most advanced telescope on the planet. Also, astronomers can move each panel individually, helping the dish to point in any direction to receive a signal. Suspended 459 feet, or 140 meters above the dish, there's a focus cabin, which receives electromagnetic waves and sends them to the human signals. 
This is the most impressive machine ever built to search for alien life, and it was very expensive. The cost of this satellite machine was roughly 180 million bucks, but it should be worth it. Space.com claims the satellite will be able to detect any possible signals that have been sent from distant civilizations. What do you think they'll find? Do you think a distant civilization is trying to communicate with us? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell before you leave. Number seven, brick laying machine. There is a giant machine out there known as the Hadrian X, and it can lay bricks faster than you. Named after Hadrian's Wall in the United Kingdom, this robot can lay up to 200 bricks an hour. The robot can lay bricks so fast that the price of this massive machine is extremely competitive compared to the wages you would have to pay a worker to lay down the same amount of bricks. Not to mention, there are no lunch breaks, no groaning or complaining, and no workplace accidents. It's just a robot. The Hadrian X can build a full-sized house in two days. The robot features a telescopic boom, which mounts onto a truck and works off a 3D model of the house, placing bricks and mortar in the exact positions they need to be in. With software upgrades, the team believes that they can one day achieve at least a thousand bricks an hour. This is not a far-fetched idea when you consider that the Hadrian X started at around 85 bricks and was upgraded over the years to complete 200 bricks. When they say robots are coming for our jobs, they aren't wrong, except for the fact that, again, they are already here. Number six, 3D printers. 3D printers are already taking the world by storm. They feel like something out of a science fiction movie. These little machines can basically turn raw matter into a 3D printed object. They can do it on a large scale and on a small scale, going so far as to 3D print cars and even houses. The power behind 3D printers will change life as we know it, at least in the developmental and construction sectors. Imagine being able to build a house in just a few hours by printing the materials, instead of having to make a million trips to Home Depot or whatever your closest hardware store may be. You know how it goes, get some tools, forget the screws you need, have to go back, etc, etc. Now you can just print it, but it goes much, much further than that. In 1976, Charles Hull started to develop the concepts of this 3D technology. His company, 3D Systems, developed the first ideas based on injection of ink systems, and in 1984, some advanced concepts and changes started to make the 3D printers a reality. In 1992, the first models worked with the concept of layer by layer, and in 1999, the engineer studies helped the process to become easier, being applied to medicine, creating the first 3D organs in 2002. In 2008, engineers started to improve the prosthesis made with 3D printers, launching their commercialization in 2009. That same year, scientists started to develop cells and blood vessels. Then in 2011, they created the first airplane and the first car fully made with 3D printers. And since that year, the use of minerals became an option for those revolutionary machines. Maybe it sounds too difficult to use this kind of technology, but 3D printers are not actually that complicated. Basically, an object is scanned and uploaded into a computer, just like a two-dimensional scanner in your office does with a piece of paper. A special program then figures out the exact dimensions of the object. Then a machine prints it, using a method primarily of molten plastic and some kind of adhesive. Different machines use different techniques and different methods of printing, but it all works pretty much the same way. This is what they are using for the International Space Station. Forgot your tool on Earth? Just print it out. Some people think that 3D printing machines will erase the need for consumer shopping. That is, if they get so advanced that they can start printing clothing and objects that you would otherwise have to buy in a department store. The prospects of 3D printing are exponential and astounding. What would you make with a 3D printer? Let us know in the comments below. Number five, vending machines. Okay, vending machines are nothing new. Did you know the first vending machine is thousands of years old? It involved nothing more than a coin and some levers to get some holy water in Egyptian temples. They are some amazing machines in the world, but not because of their design, which is relatively simple, but because of how vending machines are changing the way we interact with the world. Gone are the days of dealing with those pesky cashiers. It's so much easier to just do your shopping at a vending machine. And while North American vending machines are lagging pretty far behind the rest of the world, on the eastern side of the globe, you can do pretty much all your shopping with vending machines. So what can you buy with them? Well, you can get your beer, you can get your live crabs to take home and eat, you can get books and beverages, bananas, toys, gifts, candles, and so much more. But that's not all. 
You can also order your food at a restaurant using a vending machine, which will then deliver it to a conveyor belt. Vending machines can make your coffee, they can make your ice cream, and they can even whip up some freshly made cotton candy. What's your dream vending machine? Let us know in the comments below. Number four, NASA Crawler Transporter. Welcome to two of the largest vehicles ever built on our planet. There are two of these fantastic machines known as the NASA Crawler Transporters, and they've been used for the last 50 years to transport rockets to the launch pad for NASA. According to NASA, even after turning 50 years old, these two massive machines will continue to work for the space program as part of their journey to reach Mars. Originally constructed in 1965 to support the Apollo program, they supported Skylab, Apollo Soyuz project, and space shuttle programs helping NASA to develop many missions and projects to help push humanity towards space exploration in our solar system and beyond. Soon, these huge crawlers, each about 131 feet or 40 meters in length and 114 feet or 35 meters wide, will carry NASA's new space launch system, complete with the Orion spacecraft atop it for launch. The crawlers are currently being upgraded to carry a full load of 18 million pounds. Using these vehicles, NASA will send astronauts to an asteroid and onward to Mars. And with all of their recent modifications, these machines will serve their homeland for another 20 years. Number three, Bucket Wheel Excavator. The Bucket Wheel Excavator is one of the biggest pieces of heavy equipment ever constructed. This thing is absolutely huge. It weighs roughly 14,200 tons and can remove thousands of tons of debris in a single day, making it an extremely useful digging machine for large-scale mining operations. In fact, the bucket wheel excavator, the Bagger 293 model to be exact, currently holds the Guinness World Record as being the heaviest land-based vehicle ever constructed. Make no mistake, this is a superstructure. The main bucket wheel is a configuration of scoops attached to a huge boom, the scoops continuously digging and digging and digging, the main bucket wheel is a conveyor system that carries away whatever is dumped by the buckets up to the boom to be disposed of. In a single day, this machine can move roughly eight and a half million cubic feet of raw dirt. The reason you've probably never seen one of these gigantic machines in action is because they're extremely expensive. Plus, the machines are so well built, there's almost no need to ever replace one. Number two, Japanese toilet. The toilets in Japan are not amazing simply because they flush water down the toilet, but because they are literally machines. If you live in North America or Europe, chances are the only thing your toilet does is let water go. But in Japan, going to the toilet is like going on vacation. These toilets come equipped with sound mufflers so that your neighbor can't hear what you're doing. They come with seat warmers, just like the leather seat of your car. Plus, in Japan, the toilet will even clean your posterior for you. There are more buttons on a Japanese toilet than on a computer's keyboard. Some toilets have an automatic feature where the toilet seat opens when you walk in the room, and others even come equipped with a night light and an upper deck sink for washing your hands. Coolest of all is that Japanese manufacturers are continuing to experiment with their toilets, hoping that soon toilets will be able to run medical tests and then deliver the results to you and even to your doctor via the internet. Number one. The Large Hadron Collider. This one's a little hard to explain. It's definitely the geekiest machine on the list and undoubtedly the most mind-boggling. It is super abstract and amazing at the same time. If you've seen The Big Bang Theory, I'm sure you know what it is already. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC for short, is the most powerful particle accelerator ever designed and built. This machine is so huge and so complex that it currently sits in a tunnel 100 meters under the ground on the border of France and Switzerland inside of the European Organization for Nuclear Research. This machine is not messing around. But you're probably wondering what it does. Basically, the Large Hadron Collider pushes protons and ions to almost the speed of light. It has a ring that's 27 kilometers long and filled with superconducting magnets that work to boost particles to super speeds. Why? To find out the secrets of the universe. The genius scientists who use this machine for research are still trying to uncover the mysteries of dark matter, antimatter, and all kinds of other research that is impossible to do anywhere else. 
They're also taking incredible steps to understanding the world of particles and physics, while still trying to map the entire physical structure of our known universe. It is a seriously big job, and they use this seriously big machine to do it. Which of these machines do you think is the coolest? Which one would you like to see? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell before you go. Thanks for watching this episode of American Eye. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.